Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be reacting to Laura Lee's first ever YouTube video. So basically what I'm going to do is every now and again, I'm going to be re reacting to different types of videos, whether they be YouTuber videos, makeup fails, TikTok videos, anything like that, but they're all going to be beauty related. So skincare, hair care, makeup, etc. I just thought it would give this channel like a good difference and a good shakeup. I chose Laura Lee's video because one, I do really enjoy Laura Lee. I enjoy her content and I have been following her for a long time. So I thought it would be really funny just to watch one of her super old videos. I just want to say this isn't any hate to anyone when I start doing these reaction videos It's not to make fun of anybody. It's not it's just for commentary and fun it's The perfect contouring and highlighting Oh, man <laughs> That was a nice intro It was like um, that's definitely eye movie definitely eye movie Something's falling out of her Hey guys, oh, girl, yes. and today I'm going to show <laughs> you the friends. perfect Ooh. and very easy way to contour and highlight your face. You can tell she doesn't have right a mic. Right now, all I have on is just my foundation, which is True Blend by CoverGirl, and it looks like this. And the color I use is 445 Soft Honey. Do you think she purposely like mascara, made that video smaller? Because it seems like it's not the full screen. It's L just like a Maybelline. little piece of it. I think she like kind of zoomed it and in and did it like I that. I have on some eyeshadow as well. I have not concealed my face yet, but I will get started. Listen with to that. Her, first of all, no. <laughs> the foundation is awful. And the color that um, I use listen is to her CW voice. Like she still beige. has a very so strong southern first, accent, um, but like in here, you can eyes, really hear I'm it. I'm just gonna apply a little bit like this under each Natural eye, lighting. and then I'm gonna go Ooh, ahead what? and conceal down the nose and a little bit <laughs> up here that. in between. I'm gonna the replay that for area. you guys, just in case you you miss that. And to rub that in, I'm going to be using a brush by MAC, which is the All right, 190. Watch. And I have on some eyeshadow watch. as well. Just watch. I have oh, not concealed oh, my face like a yet, glitch. I will get started. Brush. A good dupe for that. It's actually it's just a really good concealer. Elf, um, I still have that concealer. I mean, not the like same this. one from 2013, but I still have that one. Beige. <laughs> she sounds so innocent and young. I will tell you, though, I mean, she's aged beautifully. She doesn't look very different. It's really hard to hear her because of all the music. I would, I would now, being 2022, cut the music just for when you're applying it. So, well, hold on. I'm gonna pause right there. So she just showed us a Mac contour um, thing, bronzer thing, and then says if you want to go high end, fancy. Mac is expensive, so I feel like. How much higher end are we going? <laughs> okay, so that is it is more expensive, but I mean Mac is still pretty pricey. Over here, or you could go. Yes, the duo. Yes, I actually loved that duo. I wonder if they still make that. The brown in that is a really good matte brown to use for contour. Let's get rid of the music. I love like her room, like the and background. Off, she's got like a laundry sheet <laughs> hanging out of her basket. And then she's just got some things. Just cute. I remember watching those you tutorials you where you really like find, that line find the divot down. in your face. Yeah, I would not recommend that for contour. I'm just going to get a little bit my brush and I'm gonna start oh, contouring. God. I don't contour and like I never really was a contour person line. to be honest and it just wasn't ever something that like I was into doing this um I did sure try you know try to be trendy but honestly it just wasn't something that worked out for me I I know that any face shape can contour but I really do believe in my heart, and this is a personal opinion, that contouring really is effective for people who already have that chiseled, like, nice, like, shaped face. Do you know what I mean? I, every time I contour, I feel like my face just looks worse. <laughs> just bronze. I leave the contour out of it. So she's talking, you can't hear her. And she's um, talking. So. Already. And again, you can just use a thin her brush, video production a now is, like, amazing. Further oh down your face if you want it to do that. And um, 
which creates an even more thinning look. Well, it's not really thinning, it's dimension. She keeps glitching, like the editing the cuts are really face. bad. What I like to do is take I used to edit on iMovie, so I get it. I wonder what she was doing when she first started YouTube. I don't really know. I know like Jacqueline was working at Mac. Kind of I think a lot of them were honestly. So but a bit I'm more assuming natural. she was too with all the Mac products she's using. But then again, Mac was like the most popular makeup back then. I'm okay, assuming the sun went down because she now has a lamp the, uh, in front of her. Area. The thing is, whenever you're kind of in a dark room, you naturally create a shadow that creates kind of um, just around. In my the opinion, area she has such a small forehead. I think so the bronzer would be just fine. Here. Like, that, I don't again, think that I'm she needs to go heavy with the contour, because she has such a small forehead as it is. Um, I mean, she's very lucky. Brush that looks like that. Look how thin her eyebrows there. are, by the way. Did anyone see that? Okay. Ooh, remember when we did that? Someone said that they were coming back, and we I like am not okay with and that. I do not is, second what that. We're creating here is kind of like a <laughs> in cursive E. Um, I think I missed that. Why did she do? Why is she doing circle, so much contour? No, circle. she already has so such like a beautiful forehead. I know that's such a weird here. thing to point out, but she really does just have a beautiful forehead. Like it's not too long, it's not too short. It's just really, really nice and proportionate with her hairline and her eyebrows. She's still talking. Like, I don't know that she knows that... Like, see, I just feel like... Does she know? <laughs> At this point, she probably doesn't care, you know what I mean? Created a lot of harsh lines there. Oh, so instead of using, like, highlighting powder, she used the foundation, foundation powder, powder too. So my thing is, I'm going to pause real quick. So instead of just blending it out, like the contour out, she made harsh lines. She created harsh lines just to then use a product to soften those harsh lines. I don't think that was necessary. Just don't do harsh lines. Just blend it out. I mean, if you need to fix it a little, you can, but it's like she purposely made <laughs> sharp lines just to undo it so i'm thinking she had to be a makeup like artist or something because back then we area. didn't really know why we were contouring we were just and doing it so i'm thinking she did work for mac right or something down the nose um again it's easier to do down the nose if you're using the smaller brush so i will be I using wonder if the she lived brush in um the south again. here i think it was alabama was it from alabama she's from alabama i wonder if that's where she is right now or if she was in la since she was an adult so i'm gonna add a little bit more I have a little bit more than usual so you guys can see because the camera takes away so much. That is a fact. I will, I'm going to pause because I think I need to say that out loud because a lot of people will always be like, oh my God, you know, your makeup looks so flawless, da 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 da. Listen, if you were to see me at, right after, directly after filming a video, you would be like, Jamie, why do you have that much makeup on your face? Because the camera and the lights take so much from the color, the pigment, and all of that, that you have to, like, the blush that I would normally put an amount on if I was going out versus the amount that I put on when I'm filming is completely different. Like, that's, when I say I'm doing my makeup on camera, it's studio makeup. It is basically acting, filming makeup. I am putting on an excessive amount so it comes off on camera as beautiful as it would in person if I had just my normal amount on. So I have to make that extremely clear because a lot of people they don't realize how much makeup you have to actually put on in order for it to come off as such a glorious and lovely look um and it's not saying that those products don't do that but just they can't do that when they're fighting against all the lighting in the camera so when i film makeup tutorials and makeup looks God, i have an excessive amount of makeup on and it will look on camera really well but in person it looks like i have a lot of makeup on but if i were to just do my everyday makeup and then get on here it would look like I have like nothing or no along the jawline right here and we're gonna contour here and then we're gonna come right straight down along sides where you can see my neck which is just a real creates a really slendering look for the face she does not um, need to contour her jaw look at her okay first of all this needs to be contoured um, Laura Lee makes it look it's really natural with the rest of your face she has the like contoured. beautiful jawline I'm gonna get a little bit on my brush and we're gonna go ahead beautiful and jawline chin. and she's like we're gonna contour and this. We're gonna do the jawline. This perfect jawline I have here. <laughs> and work it up into the hairline. So I would not have taken it up that high. 
I'd have kept it down here. We're just gonna do that. And now, like the way I do, I saw on TikTok, you bronze here because it gives the effect that you're slimmer. Still can't do the chin contour that much because I don't really have, like, there's no distinct difference between my neck and my chin. Um, but again, I'm gonna go over this so with I my foundation powder because I don't want it to look too harsh or really anything unnatural. And then I'm gonna go over my nose just a little bit. Next is highlighting. For highlighting, what I'm gonna be using is Sephora's new highlighter they came out with. The lid looks like this, and it's called Fresh Face Luminizing Powder. A good dupe for this is gonna be your Maybelline, and this is, I don't know what color this is because it did, oh, it's Champagne Bloom. And it looks like this. Just a shimmery, I don't know. If Why do we as YouTubers? I don't know if you guys can um, see so this, this or not. Really good as if someone is going to instead. immediately respond, I'm yes be or no. Just kind of a brush. <laughs> I do it too. Like this. This kind of smushed. Or you can And now we use way like different brushes for brush highlighter. You could smush it yourself. I won't use a fan brush. I hate fan brushes. So I'm going to get a little bit on a brush and whenever you're highlighting your face you're kind of pushing out things that you want people to notice whereas when we contoured we took away things that maybe we don't want people to notice that much. No, that's not necessarily true. So the first thing we're going to create highlight shadows is we're going to go right Depth. above the cheekbone. You're not hiding anything. We, your face um, is still contoured. there. So we're going to go right above that and we can even go under the eye and kind of create a triangle. Wait, this isn't highlighter? Why is she putting a triangle of highlighter? No. Down the nose. So is this setting powder that she's like so. using? No, I'm most definitely this is highlighter. Is we're gonna do kind of the sun ray, sunshine, right it on the forehead. It doesn't look like highlighter. And then we're going, again, we've already contoured I'm, I'm thinking that the these highlighters, because so we'll she said the one was shimmery. Well. So what I'm thinking is they're not a like a brush. highlighter. It's the setting powder that we know now to highlight those areas. I was going to say, why are you putting a highlighter all under your eyeballs? <laughs> Her lights keep going in and out. Like, is it the nighttime? Is, is it daytime? Trip. To, um, kind of have a I mean, I get it. Okay, I, mean, I get it. Lip. Natural lighting it's, sucks um, to film with. It works. Right so if you're a newer your YouTuber, it works. It just sucks sometimes because so you can't control and again, clouds and whatnot. Concealer. So it kind of just makes just it like that. I'm just gonna add just a touch right above my lip like that, and instead of rubbing it in with a brush, I'm just Wait. gonna rub it in with my finger. Why did she do that? I put highlighter there, but. Never concealer. I feel like that would really make my lips look like. I don't know. Another area you might want to highlight if you haven't already done your eyeshadow colors is. So, what I'm thinking is highlighter itself is not. Was not as big because she's not really using highlighter. She's using just like kind of like setting powder. Like a light, a white, pinky color. Step that some people like to skip when highlighting and contouring their face is blush because sometimes they have rosy cheeks already. But what you've done is you've already covered all of that with all your foundation, powders, and contouring and highlighting. So I'm going to add a blush. And the blush I'm going to use today is by MAC and it's called Easy Manner. All that is so that would is be just a really pointless to not do your blush. blush um, I'm going to pause. Blush. So basically, what she says is most people like to not use blush because they have rosy cheeks. But I've put all this on, so then that person, I would just have gone and said, okay, now we're going to do our blush. Because if you're contouring and highlighting and doing all that full glam, you probably have foundation on and your rosy cheeks, your natural rosy cheeks are gone. <laughs> Apply the More blush. Mac. A brush I'm telling you, like we this, were obsessed with Mac. And this brush is at that time, it was insane. By Mac. Especially now that I look back, because I don't even brush, really buy back like that at all, right ever. At I just teeth. don't. Sometimes you have to kind of smile I just realized, like, as I grew with my makeup and grew with what I was doing, it just wasn't a company that I really am interested in. I don't really care for their products that much. 
but we used to ride for MAC. So I still kind of apply my blush like this. I know that now, like everyone is like applying it up here where the highlighter is. Exactly. I don't, I still don't do that. that. You can do whatever you want. But this is how I still usually apply my blush, but I put um, a lot more blush on than she did. Because so I love blush, I so I'm really so glad that blush is like really um, popular right now. And who would have thought, 2022, she's one of the biggest YouTubers in the beauty community. So. Just looking back on this video, it just kind of like reminds me of kind of where it all started versus like where it is now. Like the beauty community is so huge now. So to see that like was kind of nostalgic. I really enjoyed it. I loved her video. This was no hate to Laura Lee. She did a fantastic job. If you want to start seeing more reaction videos to beauty content, go ahead and let me know down below which videos like makeup fails, TikTok hacks, whatever it may be. Let me know down below and I will start getting those out to you. I think I'm going to do Manny next or Jaclyn Hill. I haven't decided. I might just look up some stuff here on YouTube. I don't know. Just let me know down below, guys, because I really want to start doing these. I love reacting to videos. Like, I do it anyways. As I'm watching them, I'm just like, what are you doing? That's all so bad. But I just think that it'll be a fun time here for us and something funny to add and different to my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know what your thoughts are down below on reaction videos. And as always, guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.